Hey, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Here with a quick video on getting your samples onto the Machine Plus. Um, this is something that I've seen people dealing with and something that, you know, kind of threw me off for a little bit, just understanding how they're doing it. So basically, you only have two levels when you add your stuff on there. I'll show you what I mean. So if you go into the browser, if you're not in the user section, just hit user and you'll see machine, which is anything that's internal, all the stuff that you record, whatever. I mean, you can put samples in there, but I think it makes a little bit more sense to put it in the user content folder. So that's right here. And then basically you just have two levels of organization after that. There's nothing over here. So you have a folder, which which they call banks and then your sub banks. So I'm going to show you how to set that up on the computer. So we're just going to put this into I'm going to go to settings system and turn on storage so it connects to my computer. All right, so this is the Machine Plus folder. You can see it says Native Instruments. This is all the stuff that's been downloaded, all the expansions and everything. This is that Machine 2 folder. You know, it looks like your normal Machine 2 folder, and then you have your user content folder. But if you notice, so how I got mine set up, that first bank is my MSX folder, and then inside of there I have my samples. Uh, but you can't go any further than that. So I have to drop everything inside of these folders, which is not normally how I do it. Normally, I will have something that looks like uh, looks like this. So this is normally how I like to organize my samples. It's just quicker for me that way. But Machine Plus doesn't read this third level of subfolder. I think that would be super dope and make it really, really uh, flexible to organize your stuff on there. But because it's not like that, what I have to do is drop everything into a folder kind of like this. So I would just drag this one over if I wanted it on there. Uh, let's just drag a couple of these. So I think I already set all these up to be, yeah. So let's just do these. So basically I'm gonna just drag them into this folder cause I want them to be basically, this is my bank. So I want them to be in the MSX bank. Now, another way you could do it because of the limitations, if you wanted everything to be organized by type, you can make your banks be the type. Like instead of, you know, MSX, I would have user content, kicks, snares, hi-hats, percussion, whatever. And then inside of each one of those folders, I can have kicks slash MSX, snares slash beat people, you know, whatever. Um, so that's another way to do it. And I'm just kind of experimenting, but I wanted to make sure you understand it. So I dropped those on there. So all you got to do is eject this from your computer. And you can do this either via USB or just take the whole SD card out and put it in your computer. I just leave it connected via USB. It's just faster for me that way. So I'll just get rid of this. Then back over on Machine Plus, you just disconnect. And what you want to do is go over here to the library and rescan so that it finds all your new content. Uh, now, if you're just sticking the card back in, it'll automatically scan it. But since I was doing it via USB, I have to do this so that it scans it and updates it. So, yeah, once you're done, you can just go back over to the browser and we can see in there that those uh, packs that we added are in there. So just keep in mind that you really only have two folder levels after the user content folder. So you got user content and then whatever you put next, whatever folders come up next, those are going to be your banks. And then whatever you have inside those folders, those will be your sub banks. And you can have multiple. You don't have to just have one folder here. Like I can add all types of, you know, companies and then add their sample packs if I want to. Normally what I would like to do is have, you know, drums, then a company, and then the sample pack or sample pack, then the company, then the sample pack. So if we could use these other ones over here, I think that would be super flexible. Even if even if it was just one or two more. I mean, you got room for three, but even if it was just more, one or two more so that we can get into our folders a little bit more organized, I think that would be dope. But anyway, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you dig it. Also, if you got questions, let me know. If you're looking for, you know, tutorials and things around machines, stop by machinetutorials.com. Till next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace.